Coyote gets pooped on, take one. We've had an amazing time making this first season of Breaking Trail, and I know you guys have loved all these amazing animals. But it also seems that you guys have really liked the times that I've been pooped on, and I've been hit a lot. Ah, I think one just pooped in my eye. I got hit in my eye. Ah! It burns! <laughs> in my mouth, my legs, my hands. You just pooped all over my hand. Oh, it stinks. Getting pooped on isn't fun. Some shows have blooper reels. What we've decided to do is put together a pooper reel. I hope you guys enjoy this a lot more than I did. If there's one thing in life that's for absolute certain, besides death and taxes, it's that all things poop. He's giving you the nice butt shot. I think the only way to tackle this is from the top down. And as I recollect, it was filming in Arizona that I got my first dose of direct hits. It was early one evening, working with wildlife specialist Philip Wildman Ricosi, when we were on the search for Mexican free-tailed bats. Look at all those little eyeballs. Oh, that is creepy looking. These are Mexican free-tailed bats. So I know it's not nice to wish ill upon somebody, but Coyote is such a competent person that sometimes I get a little bit of enjoyment out of seeing him, uh, you know, have a little bit of discomfort. And I see all these little tiny, what look like chocolate sprinkles. But those are not chocolate sprinkles, are they? No, no, that's bat guano. Yeah, bat guano yeah. is bat poop. Like getting pooped in the eye by a bat. I think one just pooped in my eye. I think Coyote probably deserved it. He got a little poop in his eye. Uh, he got a little too close to the line of fire um, underneath the bats. Definitely just got pooped on in my eye. It stinks a little bit. I won't lie. Well, here, here's the thing. They've been sleeping in here all day long, hanging upside down. You can't really go to the bathroom. No, and I guess that's Once fine. they wake up and they turn around, guess what they want to do? You know, I get pooped on by every single animal I come across. This one got me right in the eye, so that's a little different. Getting hit in the eye was, well, an eye-opening experience. Moral of the story, don't look up into cracks full of bats, because you will probably get pooped on. Do you know what's worse than getting a tiny bat steamer in your eye? Oh, oh, oh. You get that? Yep, that's right. Getting poop sprayed in the face by a snake. There's one. While filming on North Bass Island, the team and I caught our fair share of beautiful Lake Erie water snakes, and their favorite thing to do, other than bite. And the typical signs of aggression, he's trying to bite me right from the start, is to poop. Yeah, they are stinky. He's also secreting musk right now, which is another defense mechanism, and he's pretty much figured out. Oh, oh, oh. You get that? Yeah. Look at my face. I got poop splattered all over my face. Oh. Is that in my eye? You see that on my face? Yeah, got one me too. Ah, he just did a twist move and poop sprayed us. Ah, it burns. Okay, I'm gonna go down the water and wash the snake poop out of my eye. Come down with me, we'll let this guy go down by the water there. Careful, watch your footing come through this. Uh, you know, can you come and dump some water on my eye? It burns pretty bad. I consider myself a relatively tough guy. Ah, jeez. Yeah, watch yourself, just careful, it's footing's lower. You kind of dump it over my eye. But nothing stings the eyes, like snake poop. Oh yeah, in my mouth, that's great. Things not to do, get poop slung in your eye by a water snake. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. And in case you're wondering, it tastes worse than it smells. Getting bombed on by lizards, though, might be worse than snakes and bats combined. Let's take the southern alligator lizard, for example. He got me with a full load of digested fun. Oh, he's pooping on me. Great, that's another defense mechanism to poop if you're handled. But when it comes down to the stinkiest poop of season one, there's no question about it. The Gila monster wins the prize for clearing the desert. Well, one thing you might not have known, at least I didn't know, about a Gila monster before the scene was they have like slime green poop. Uh, it literally looks like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ooze. One of my favorites, but I want to know what your favorite lizards are. Oh, oh you just, good. You just pooped all over my hand. Yeah, yeah it was great. When Coyote gets pooped on, that's... Oh, oh it stinks. Hold on, let me put down. Oh, jeez. 
I got Gila Monster slimed big time. I think he's had about enough of this scene. Note to self, Gila Monsters have venom-like lava and poop slime that smells like the end of the world. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. Ugh. Last, but certainly not smallest, was the not so pleasant surprise I got from season one's most adorable reptile, the gopher tortoise. Now what are these tortoises feeding on out here? Um, just lower herbaceous vegetation. Uh, they feed on different grasses. It certainly seems pretty healthy and strong. What a beautiful tortoise. Oh, I just, oh yeah, no. I was about to say. Oh no. Oh, look at that. I just, he just pooped all over my leg and I literally put my elbow right into it. Is, it. is it all on my elbow? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you get that close up, Mark. Oh, oh, look at that. Is I'm not a, getting close. Oh, that is a mega tortoise <laughs> dump right there. And you can actually see all the grass. So that tortoise dropped quite a big log on Coyote, huh? Yeah, well, he deserved it, didn't he? I mean, for all the stuff he makes us walk through, a little bit of tortoise poop on him every now and then, I don't feel bad about it. Not only was this log the largest of the season, I didn't even see it coming and neither did my poor elbow. The crew seems to love it when I get the back end of these animal encounters. I really wanted to see him poop on Coyote. I'm glad that bear didn't poop on me. You really want that bear to poop on me? Yeah. He spit on me. I want, I want every animal we work with to poop on you. <laughs> and it has become a running, light-hearted thematic throughout season one of Breaking Trail. I expect that you guys are going to enjoy pooper reels more than blooper reels. I mean, it's bad. It smells like a dead fish that's been sitting in the sun for a few days. So I have a feeling that as season two begins to take shape, there will be plenty more poop to come. If you thought that was one wild adventure, make sure to subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel and check out these other episodes so you can stick with us on this season of Breaking Trail. Thank <laughs> you.